If this bike were stolen, I would be absolutely crushed. If I had two bikes that were stolen at different times. I would miss the convenience. It was like losing a part of who I am. You gotta lock it up with a good lock and lock it properly. I'm Zach, co-owner of Huckleberry Bicycles. Here at the shop we see people coming in whose bikes were recently stolen almost every day. And I'm here to tell you how to lock up your bike so that it's there when you get back. First thing is you wanna start with a good lock. A U-lock in the $40 to $50 range is the bare minimum. That's hard to cut, basically. It's hard to break still. You also need to lock your wheels and your seat to your bike. Those are the most commonly stolen parts of your bike. If your bike has quick release skewers, they're really easy to take off with no tools, and your wheels are really one of the most valuable parts of your bike. The best bet is to use locking skewers. A lot of bikes come with a quick release that make it really easy to take your seat off with no tools at all. The best setup to secure your seat is a chain locking your seat to the frame and a bolt-on seat collar locking your seat post into the frame. Once you have a good lock, you need to lock it up properly. First thing is to lock it to something that is at least as tough to cut as your lock. A good bike rack, parking meter is great, street signs that are securely fastened and no one can lift the bike up over the top of the sign. If the thief can cut whatever you lock the bike to, they will just do that. Another big mistake we see people make is locking their bike to someone else's bike. Especially lately, we've seen people cutting your friend's bike to take your bike. I like to lock the U-lock around the head tube on the bike rather than the other tubes, which actually are easier to cut. Make sure you take any accessories that you have on your bike. They all tend to walk away. Feel free to leave your bungee behind. <laughs> and before you walk away from your bike, double check that the lock is actually locked and make sure that you actually locked your bike to the rack. In the end, whether you have a $50 bike or a $5,000 bike, to keep it secure, it's about the quality of the lock and how you use it.
Thursday, so here's your bike back.